Okay, I'm gonna do two videos on this. It's gonna be, they're gonna be crowd pleasers. And sorry that I have to do a voiceover, but they're like fixing our house and there's like hammering in the background. Okay, so anyway, you start off with red, some yellow, some dark red. Then you spray some gold over that. You're just making the texture for your pyramid. So you just have any texture, just lightly, lightly rub over. You can do it again if you want, if you don't like that texture. Okay, next you want to get a poster board. Poster board works well for a pyramid. I don't like using paper because sometimes it sticks. Okay, next we're going to grab our red, our dark red, and our yellow. Go from light to dark. Make sure a little bit of orange in the middle. And then this is going to be our huge planet. So, some reflection, some shadow. Alright, spray, give it some volume. Just a light touch, it doesn't have to be much. Just a light, light touch. And if you don't like it, just, just go over it again. Okay. So, you have to dry that. And then... Add more reflection, add some shadow. Finally add your plate. We're gonna add a smaller planet, some yellow, some red. Add some shadow, add some light to this. And then we're gonna add, this is gonna be a tiny, tiny planet. The big one's gonna be like a Saturn or a Neptune, whatever you wanna call it, Jupiter, I don't know. Oh no, not Jupiter, it doesn't have rings. But just a planet with a ring. And then grab two colors, black and red. Just spray all over. Add some parts where there's gonna be light. So the majority, I put the majority of the red in the corner. And then yellow. Add, add some little decoration to it, some white. Like there's a big sun coming up behind it. Okay, next we're gonna add some stars. I think I made this one in like, must have been like seven, seven minutes and 30 seconds. Crowd pleaser is supposed to be really fast. Just something that's really easy, something you can do really quick and will give a good show. So add some shadow to your pyramid. Alright, after you've done that, you're gonna make the water. So spray some black as the background. Some red over that, all the way to the bottom. Yellow, all the way to the bottom. Some orange, or light red. Add the reflection of the planets. Some black all the way over that. Grab some poster board. And you're just gonna move from side to side. Just side to side while moving, while uh, moving the water. So we're gonna spray some crystal clear because it got a little dry. Side to side. All the way down to the bottom. And once we have that, we have our water. We'll add a comet. If you leave a little mark like that, just you could just spray and just get a little paint on your finger and just dab it in. You'll notice it a little bit, but I mean, if you really want to clean it up, grab a CD that's a small like little hole and just spray through it. All right, next we're gonna add some rocks. Just make sure you, they're not like straight like lines. Like make them interesting. Like make them interesting rocks like whatever shape you want. So just a light touch. Use your fingernails to create some rocks. I use my fingernails there. Then to add a second layer of rocks, I'm gonna add black as a shadow. And then you wanna go over that with the black. My newspaper broke, but it still worked. So keep on going over it. Add a second layer of rocks. 
fix that a little bit. All right, we're gonna reveal this. It's a good looking planet. Here's this one. Okay, and then we are going to add the ring around that. I found this in my garage. It's like a like chisel type of thing. So we're just gonna add the rings. I basically, I put it towards the end because I'm not very good at adding rings. I kind of mess up, so like I did this on purpose. But it still looks good. So add the rings. After that, we sign it. Makito 2015, and then voila. You have your nice crowd pleaser. Everyone claps and yay. Okay, then you wanna spray over it and then you wanna finally just give the flame to dry it. Okay, so this next one we're gonna make is, I'm gonna do a variety of different ones. I'm gonna do four different types of crowd pleasers that I would use. So the first one was like a planet and a pyramid, just like a classic type of painting. This one's gonna be like an eyeball type of thing, so it's gonna be pink. It doesn't necessarily have to be these colors. They can do, they can be whatever colors you want. So they just basically spray down like a, like a dark pink, a light pink, a red, some white, and just have a light touch over it. Then you wanna add some pink all the way around. That way, we're gonna add some layers of like rocks in order to uh, make them show up with color and not just white. So spray some dark red. You'll see in a, in a moment. So we're gonna add our pupil. First, we're gonna dry it. Add our pupil. Fix it up a little bit. And then add the shape of our eye. Just like that. Okay, and then I decide I wanna grab like a bigger plate than that. So I grabbed the bigger one. I thought that would work best. So I would just place it down. You wanna grab your black and just fix it up again. Make sure there's good defined lines. Make sure you're not covering up too much of like the iris, cause like I do that sometimes when I'm making like eyes. But fill in the rest with white where the white's supposed to be. Okay, lift up your plate, pressure on the bottom, lift up from the top. Okay, then you have your lines where your black's gonna go, so just go over it to define it more. Shadow on the bottom of the eye. Shadow on top of the eye. Okay, then this one's a little different. We're gonna grab our newspaper and it's just like you're making rocks, but just like a swift motion with your fingernails, just straight across. Just like that, so that's the first layer. Flip the painting over, that's how it looks right now. But if you wanna make it easier, just flip it over. If you can spin your table, spin it. But just keep on adding layers and layers. So we're gonna add a second layer here. I think there's like a total of like three or four layers. This is just to fill up the empty space. If you have something better than this, then go ahead and do it. You can add like a landscape underneath it. You can add like a waterfall coming down from the eye, like it's crying. Just do whatever you want. It's your painting. So keep on adding layers. You can add like a space on top. You don't necessarily have to do this. So finally we added four layers. So we have to add four layers on the other side. I think this one took me like six minutes, I think. Or maybe less, I don't know. But something that's really quick. So, crumple up your newspaper, straight across again, same thing. Don't try to go in a straight line, but like just Try to make it interesting. So I messed up here. I did white by accident. I don't know why, because they look like the same and I haven't like colored the tops yet. 
So I went over with black to try to fix it, but it didn't really work. It showed up as white. But like, don't restart like if that happens. Like this is a crap pleaser. So just like work with your mistake. You can work with mistakes with spray paint. Just figure out a way. So I kind of just like, tried to dab all the white off. And then I added the black. Then I tried to go as much as I could underneath that. So it showed up a little bit more pink. If it shows a little bit white, then that's fine. Just work with it. So here, and then one more layer. Here, we added five. Okay, so we added that. Then we're gonna add some reflection on the eye. I like to do it like this, like one side has that little one. And then the same thing I use the pupil for, I kinda just give like a dust on the other side. And then, so I'm redefining the pupil. This is a new thing I like to do. I like to like rub the inner, like the inside of the eye, like like there's like a tear duct. So I might add eyelashes later, but like that'll be it for like a later video. So I'm rubbing, keep on rubbing. Yeah, I'm trying to get the very ends, and then there's like a pink spot on the right side that's not supposed to be there, so I try to fill it in with white. And I try to use my fingers, and I'm just like messing up here. So I try to fix it as much as I can, and I'm just like smearing the white, trying to smear it off my fingers, and nothing's working. So I decided just to cover it up. That always works too, if you just cover it up. Cover up your mistakes if you can. So there's that. And then finally, we have to sign it. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So flip it over. That's what it looks like. Either way, you wanna present it. But here's the end result. I hope things go well and good luck with your crowd pleasers.